Um, so I did a video on uh, imaging um, an SD card. Um, this SD card, I will link to it in the description, blah, blah, blah. Uh, this SD card was physically fine, so it was a healthy card, so um, it's not a... Uh, uh, it's not rocket, a rocket science to be able to image that. The, uh, what, what, what's more problematic for many uh, tools that you use, especially from Windows, when you try to image cards or uh, little USB thumb drives that are uh, not behaving correctly. And then, I mean uh, not behaving in a physical way. So Windows has trouble uh, accessing them and uh, gets upset by the uh, errors it produces. So I'll have this and I'll plug it into a USB cable. Now wait a second, I'll first um, I'll first show disk management. Like so. I'm going to plug it in. Now, my point is that if you need to recover data from cards like this, or uh, USB uh, uh, thumb drives like this, uh, then your recovery software may constantly hang when trying to recover the files, when trying to scan the drive. So especially in these cases, it's even more important to first to separate those two stages, reading the faulty, devi faulty device and then the file recovery is the next stage. You, you need to separate those. And uh, if you image the card, all it has to do is try to read sector by sector by sector by sector and dump it to an image file. It doesn't have to analyze anything. And then once we have the image file, we recover the files. So we see in disk management, um, it says it's healthy and uh, it's, a, it's a primary partition, etc. Et et so, um, what would happen if we tried to scan it, say, like our studio? No, a uh, better idea. Um, yeah, our study. I didn't prepare this, you'll notice. But I just was thinking, okay, I did this video on uh, imaging um, an SD card. And it's always important to create an image, but it's even more important and, and maybe even required if you're uh, dealing with a bad card. So now the, oh, there it is. We're there. Okay. This is it. The Lexar. I'm gonna to tell it to scan it. Um, well, it already says uh, the re read the disk partition one at position blah 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 failed. Uh, scan process terminated. So this is just to illustrate that it's a very bad idea to uh, maybe you can hear the uh, fan running, the noise. So oh, it's the Explorer. I will unplug the drive because that will easy make things easier. Uh, cancel, go away. But the same thing will happen when we um, you use like my my own tool, JPEG Digger. What we try to scan. So I'll fire it up. I'll plug in the device. It pops up in the. Uh, Disk management, 
I will refresh. There it is. Cannot determine. Okay, help me determine. Wait, wait a second. It doesn't matter if I I I, uh, I will just show you. Um, which not many of many more values. There we go. Device not ready. So the default behavior for JPEG Digger is to stop because um, because of the philosophy I just explained. If there are any kind of physical issues, you first create a disk image, then you bother with uh, uh, file recovery. You see it constantly dropping and popping up again. Now it's gone again. And there it is again. Now anyway, we can try to image it. I've selected drive E already. And I can press start, right? Yeah. It will ask me where to disk images and then we that fail that or something okay this is not a good sign stop it yeah well it's basically constantly dropping and i'll unplug it for one second plug it back in the annoying thing is also that Windows is constantly trying to um, uh, access it. Oh, okay, yes. yeah. Now this is the uh, prompt that um, JPEG Digger gives you when the um, device drops offline so what happens a lot in windows is when when it's having serious physical issues the stuff we observed just now it will go away come back go away come back go away come back right now it's gone i'll unplug it like it prompts me plug it back in And try again. Well, it's really problematic. Yeah, now I got a disk drive starting. Yeah. There we go. It's imaging. It drops again. Wait if I, I wait and, and see in this management if Windows picks it up again. Not yet. It's gone again. I'm going to try something else. Rather than. Uh, image the uh, logical drive so then each time we have to wait for it uh, for windows to sign it a drive letter let's see if we can get it to image the physical drive it's gone in disk management i still have a uh, I'm going to reconnect it again. There it is again. Yeah. I'm getting errors only. Normally you, you 
I'll have to wait a few seconds. The light comes on. And we click OK and see if it continues. It continues. OK, it stops again. Disconnect. Reconnect. It's back in disk management. Click OK. It's gone again. Now, well, this is, as you can see, really annoying. So, but, but it can be done. If, if this happens a couple of times, you just unplug it, plug it back in, and click OK, and it will continue imaging. I'm going to remove it now. And I'm going to get my machine. Where is it? Where did I put it? Here. Okay. Now this unplugging and plugging in again and clicking OK, you can do this automatically. I will using one of these. I don't know if you can read it. Is it mirrored? Yeah, it's mirrored. Well, anyway, it's a device made by YapKit. It's Y-E-P-K-I-T. And it's called the Y-Kush uh, XS. So Y-K-U-S-H and then XS. And what it is, it's basically a power on off switch for USB devices. So what I'll do is I'll plug in my um, rotten little USB drive, plug it in here, and then I'm going to connect that. Cancel, okay. Now I click this button because I've made it so that uh, JPEG Digger can work together with this. Oh, it hasn't found any. I will first have to let it detect the device. I plugged in the, the device. Maybe I need to. Restart it again. Yeah. Um. Why is it not detecting? I had a little problem, <laughs> but uh, I've solved it. Um, I was talking about this and um, JPEG Digger didn't detect it. It was because uh, a file it, that's needed wasn't inside the folder I was running JPEG Digger from. We'll do it again. I will first need to have it detected. There it is. I can go to physical drives and refresh that and I want to be imaging this drive. Okay. And I want to be imaging 16 sectors per read. Now I go to the imaging uh, section. Now I click the YCUS why cush usb control and you can see now but with the click of a button i can turn it on and off now then the, when we're imaging and the 
device gives an error, Windows drops it, uh, JPEG Digger will be automatically able to power cycle it. So make sure this is ticked. And we'll turn it on. There we are. And we're going to start imaging. Uh, we call this fail. Oh, oh, oh. Set this to one. Fail, so, okay. Yeah. And now you can watch the interface and. Uh, so it disables it, it enables it again. And it starts imaging until we get the next error. Now, it powers it down. You see, uh, and, uh, the next error already occurred. So if you have to do this manually, and each time take it, um, unplug it and plug it in, that, that, that's so that's too annoying. So what we can now hope for is that at some point we'll get to an area that's a little better, so it can continue continue imaging and imaging. But it may take hours, or it may take a day. It depends on the state of the NAND. This is the, this is a problem with the NAND memory. Now, this works with the JPEG Digger uh, demo version, but and it should work with any NAND-based uh, device. So uh, uh, NAND in general. Uh, if, 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 if an error occurs, occurred, then in general it's best to power cycle it uh, rather than doing soft resets or hard resets. It, it responds best to uh, a power cycle. This is with all NAND flash-based drives, uh, USB flash drives, but also uh, SD memory cards and even uh, SSD drives. So as long as your SSD drive is still detected, but uh, it, it, it drops all the time while being connected through a USB, then one of these little devices may allow you to eventually create a disk image of the drive. Um, so like I said, this is gonna take a long time and um, before we get to uh, an area we can actually image uh, it's, it's taking too long for a video it's just to show you the, the idea and uh, the possibility and this in addition to uh, the video i made previously about imaging a healthy uh, sd card or usb flash drive so i'm going to stop it for now Okay, I'm going to turn it off because it upsets Windows, this flash drive. Um, and this is as far as you can go uh, where it concerns uh, DIY data recovery of uh, really bad and unstable uh, flash drives. Okay, that's it.